Okay, now tell me though, you get to Yale <laughs> yeah. and you write about the ways in which Yale was a different world. Sure. Did you ever play the hillbilly card? <laughs> Well, I don't, I don't know uh, how, how, I don't think that I ever played the hillbilly card. You know what I mean, <laughs> where all at once you're talking with, with the deepest Kentucky accent you can come up with, and you're sort of luring other people into having uh, uh, an opinion of you, and then you smack them with some uh, erudite <laughs> comment they didn't expect. <laughs> Uh, no, I no, I, I I never quite did that. I mean, I think I tried so hard to fit in and, and felt a little bit out of place. So I tried to sort of, you know, maybe tried to to hide it at the very beginning and never never played the, the the hillbilly card. I mean, one of the things I noticed is that it was at Yale that I really lost any semblance of a Southern accent. So it, it's something that people who knew me when I was a first year student, you know, not everybody, but they would say, you know, you have a certain way of saying things. Are you from the South? And by the third year of law school, no one made those comments. <laughs> and so it, it's 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 interesting that it, that maybe I played the opposite of the hillbilly card. You know, I became at least in the way that I spoke a little bit more like the elites than folks back home. I ad I advise you to retain those skills. <laughs> uh, we we have a friend from Macon, Georgia. She okay. uh, a, a female uh, in, in her thirties, and she is usually crisp and snap. Uh, you know, she could pass for a New Yorker almost. Mm -hmm. But if she's in a situation where all at once that sweet Southern accent is really effective. It comes on in a flash, yeah, really <laughs> and she gets she gets great <laughs> mileage out of it.